Hey guys, Martin the Martian here with the review for Captain America Civil War. Oh man, this is the movie that I've been really excited for this whole year. And pretty early this year it's come out, but finally got to see it. I'm sorry if this is a little late, but I just saw it last night. And this is like my bed head, I guess. But I just want to get this out of the way really quick because I must tell you guys my thoughts on the movie. This review will contain no spoilers, so you are safe with me when I talk about this. Let's get to it. To give a quick synopsis about this movie, the whole world is tired of superheroes and they want to pass this law to control them under the government and Cap does not think that's right. They think they deserve their freedom and Iron Man thinks that it's right because they feel he feels responsible for everything that has gone wrong in the world. And so both ideologies clash and they make their own teams of Avengers, thus splitting them and making a civil war. I gotta say, I'm still trying to process this. This is just like when I watch an MCU movie, just like when I saw Age of Ultron, first time I saw it, it was a lot to take in. I felt like I needed to see it twice, maybe three times. Same thing for right now. I've only seen it once and I'm still trying to process this thing, but I'm gonna try my best. Okay, first things first, I gotta say that walking into the movie, I was team cap movie does a really good job making you understand both sides between Team Cap and Team Iron Man. It's not like, you know, one side is good, one side is wrong. You understand both sides as they both believe they're right. And that's what makes it more interesting, I guess, and more, like, intense when all the action goes down. One of my biggest fears about this movie is because they had so many characters and introducing two more that they would have trouble... Uh, having time, screen time for all these characters, but I really do think that the Russo brothers, the directors of this movie, did a really good job splitting the screen time between all these characters. They all had their shining moments. They all were awesome. They had new powers, which I'm not going to go through, but they were pretty cool. A few highlighted characters that I really liked in this movie would be Cap, Iron Man, obviously, those two. Black Panther was a badass. Winter Soldier, Bucky. He is like sort of the MacGuffin of this movie, which isn't necessarily a bad thing because I loved Bucky throughout all these Captain America movies. And the first movie, he was, you know, I guess good. He was just like a side character. But in the second movie, that's when he really came relevant and was just one of the most badass and challenging characters I've seen throughout the whole MCU. And in this movie, you really see him having a mental battle between himself because of what happened between the other movies and everything. I'm not going to go deep into that because I just want to talk about this right now. But Bucky too, he was just phenomenal in this movie. Great performance. And another character which, in case if you have not seen any of the trailers, spoiler alert for the trailers, Spider-Man's in this movie and he is great. I gotta say, he is a lot better than Andrew Garfield Spider-Man. And he, I gotta say, is on par with Tobey Maguire. And I hope I'm not too soon for saying this. But he is one of the best Spider-Mans that we've had yet in all these movies. Tobey Maguire was great, but he looked a bit too old to be Peter Parker. This guy, Tom Holland, he has the looks and he has the performance, the acting, to be the Spider-Man that everybody's been asking for. And I'm really excited for the Spider-Man Homecoming movie that's coming out, I think, next year. Now that's all I'm going to say about Spider-Man. Black Panther, like I said, is a badass in this movie. If you don't know the things about Black Panther, I'm not going to go into that. I'd rather have you go into this movie not knowing so much about Black Panther because you will be surprised as to what this man can do and what he has up his sleeve. And so I'm really excited to see the Black Panther movie coming out next year. And another character I gotta say is Ant-Man. He is great. I love the Ant-Man movie that came out last year and once again... He is great. He brings in the comedy, just like Spider-Man also. I forgot to mention that. They both bring in the comedy in this movie, which sometimes is good. It's good to have a few laughing moments in a movie that's all serious and gritty. Now, those were the highlighted characters that I really enjoyed. Everybody else was good. They had their shining moments, but those in specific were my favorite. This is not only a sequel to Age of Ultron, but it is also a sequel to The Winter Soldier. Mainly a sequel to The Winter Soldier. And so that's why it's called Captain America Civil War. It's not Avengers Civil War or something like that because it revolves mostly around Captain America and it's his story. If you guys have seen the trailer, the airport scene is phenomenal. I have to say that it is one of the best action filmed scenes in all of the Marvel and all superhero films in general. It is one of the best. This movie has one of the best fighting scenes in any 
superhero movie or any action movie to be said. And I hope I'm not exaggerating that, but that's the way I feel. I'm not going to tell you how I felt when I walked out of the theater because that could give you a little bit of insight as to how the movie goes. But like I said, I just walked into the theater as Cap and I'll just leave it at that. Gosh, it's crazy to think that like eight years ago, all of this, all this MCU, and if you guys don't know what MCU means, it's Marvel Cinematic Universe. But that's what it means. MCU, it all started from the first Iron Man movie back in 2008. And from there, we got Avengers, and then we got Avengers 2, and then now we have Civil War. Out of, what is this, like the 13th Marvel movie within an eight year mark? Like, that's crazy, and they have all these other TV shows. I would have never thought that we would have gotten this far ever since the first Avengers came out. Not only that, but we're not stopping here. They still have the rest of Phase 3 and possibly Phase 4 too. I thought the villain in this movie, which I'm not going to spoil that, but there is a villain in this movie. They didn't really show him in the trailer, but I thought he did a really good job as you can understand why he's doing the things he's doing, And but he's in there and I guess it works because if it wouldn't be for him, things wouldn't be as chaotic as they are. I guess, and that's all I'm going to say. If you go into this movie and you walk out of it not having to change your mind one bit, not understanding the other side of whatsoever, I would have to say that you are a stubborn little person. Because this movie had me tugging at my heartstrings and understanding both sides of the argument. I, could, I, was, I was feeling like I was being pulled, like tug of war. And it was just very enthralling. I can't really think of anything else to say about this movie. I've praised it enough. I mean, if I were to find anything to complain about, I'd be nitpicking. And if that would be the case, if I'm just trying to nitpick something, I would say that it took a little while, that the first half of it was kind of slow. But besides that, it's a great movie. Phenomenal. And I would say it's one of my favorite Marvel movies to date. It's, it's up there with The Winter Soldier, Guardians of the Galaxy, The First Avengers, and I need to rewatch a couple other ones to say for that. I need to rewatch this movie and collect my thoughts a little better, but from what I can make out of this, this is how I feel. And I thought it was great. I highly recommend this movie to you guys. If you have not seen it yet, what are you doing? Go to the cinemas right now, if you can, <laughs> and go see it. I would give this movie a 4.8 out of 5, and I know that's getting really specific. I haven't given any movie that type of score yet, but that if I were to be that, you know, onto it, I would give it a 4.8 out of 5. No movie is perfect. I can already understand that, but this movie was phenomenal, and if there's anything wrong with it, you just be nitpicking. All right, so Captain America Civil War. Tell me what you thought about it if you have seen it, and if you have not, go see it. All right, <laughs> whatever you thought about this review, comment below, and uh, I will see you guys next time. <coughs> also, a really quick announcement that I want to make is that I want to review all the MCU movies in order at the best of my abilities. Now, I don't own all the Marvel movies. I just own like the Avengers and Guardians of the Galaxy. But whenever I can, I'll try and review all of them in order in the best way that I can. And hopefully I can make that happen. And I will see you guys next time.